guys, it's Mia, and I'm so excited because I'm here today to show you the new ColourPop No Filter Concealers. So, um, I bought six of them, ranging from the darkest, which is 75 deep, I believe. Excuse me, 75 rich. And then I got all the shades up until 50 tan or tan 50. And that's the six of them between that. Um, so what we're gonna do is swatch them so you can see how they look and you can kind of see what color may work for you. Um, I've used a few of them already, but I want to look at the other ones and see what will actually work on my skin tone. So right now I don't have on any makeup. As you can see, I have dark circles, I have discoloration, these dark circles. I have not been getting hard well, I haven't hardly gotten any sleep, so I look very very tired so this concealer is really gonna have to put in work today I have already done my eyebrows and I use one of the concealers which I'll get into in a second but first let's go with the packaging the packaging is really um, basic it's in this little cardboard box with stripes and it says color pop no filter really basic um, but here are the actual packaging so they all come in these tubes and it has a white top with the silver band ColourPop it has a nice little weight let me see how much is in it does it say it probably says on the website but um so this is the darkest one so it's definitely too dark for me to conceal i may be able to con contour with it eventually but we're not doing that today so what I'm going to do is kind of show you how the color looks and it's a like chocolate color with a lot of red it's red undertone and I usually don't do too much red because it gives a muddy feel for me the next one so that was I'm sorry that was 75 rich the next one is deep 70 and this is the one I use under my eyebrows today because I really didn't want to highlight. I just wanted it to be a just color, like a foundation color. And because I have not um, done my eyebrows in a while, I really needed them cleaned up and it did the job. The next one is Rich Tan. And it has, oops, I'm making a mess. That has more of a orange undertone or peachy undertone. So to me that's more neutral and then that's more like orangey. The next one in line is Deep Golden. Now this one I have been loving for like a highlight. I really like that one. And this is number 60. Make sure it stays in order. Next one in line is Deep Tan. And that is... 55 and if I want my highlighter to look a little brighter that looks really gorgeous with deep tan Ooh, stay in frame. and the one I just got today and I haven't swatched yet and I'm excited is tan 50 Ooh, I'm mess with that. and that one's okay that was even lighter but it looks like honestly when you blend these out these are going to be at the bottom some great highlight colors and then the rest are good concealer colors. I do wish um, they would have had more colors for chocolate women because they had a bunch of beige and ivory colors, an extreme amount of that. And hopefully they are just coming out with this product. So I'm pretty sure they're going to come out with more. I mean, ColourPop never really disappoints. So I'll look forward to the rest of the colors that they come out with. But this is what we're working with so far. So from top to bottom, again, Rich 75, uh, Deep 70, Rich Tan 65, Deep Golden 60, Deep Tan 55, and tan 50 so here you go they all look very good and they're like a wet concealer but they do dry down matte so if you want you know i'm gonna wipe them off because i'm gonna make a mess because we're gonna start putting them on my face so i did use 70 which was deep under the brow 
and it did cover quite well because I have not did I haven't done my eyebrows in quite a while where there were a lot of um hairs and things all over the place and it covered them up really well making it look like I've got my eyebrows done recently which I haven't so <clears throat> I like that I like that it was it was a good coverage for me I thought it was a really nice coverage and it was able to blend out very well where it's been some concealers that I have to really take the sponge and blend out or you can even after blending you can see some some type of line of demar demarcation I know I said that wrong but a difference <laughs> with the line so I think it did really really good and it dried down like a matte dry down matte because I didn't put any powder on it and what I really like is the wand the wand is really good you can see this wand look at that it is flat and it gives you a lot of control the wand is very sturdy but flexible at the same time so when you put it on your face it doesn't feel like you're beating your face up but you're actually it just flexes with the skin so I really really like that so let's see I have my little um, today because I'm not doing anything extravagant I have my Maybelline fit me foundation that I'm going to put on but I wanted to since I'm not doing a color corrector I want to put on a concealer first yeah I've already primed my face so I'm going to do a concealer first I want to do my foundation and then we're going to highlight yeah that's what we're going to do so let's see what I want to conceal with I think because I did my eyebrows with deep and I like the color but it was slightly red I'm going to and it doesn't look red in the container I think I'm going to use rich tan yeah cuz we're just testing we're gonna I'm gonna use rich tan under the eye you know I wish they made more golden shades because this one also pulls a little red it's pulling a little red I'm gonna put it here too just like I would do with a color corrector you know what it's pulling red and orange so this may help with my color correcting now that I'm thinking about it <sighs> it also got I have not dipped back in I have not dipped back into this concealer I mean back in the bottle this is just with one dip all right and this is rich tan 65 and don't don't pick at me yes my sponge is dirty all right I will be cleaning it soon well I'll just replace it because I have like a bunch of backups I just been too lazy to go in the bin and get them out Like, do you see it kind of makes me look a little red? And that's surprising because in the in the tubes they don't look as red. Hmm. They don't look as red in the tube. But it did cover up these marks quite well. Super, super red, super orange. Hmm. But this is good because I wanted to try out the colors and see what works for me and what doesn't. So we know Rich Tan is super red. Alright, so we've concealed. It did cover up these dark spots quite well because they were prominent today. Super prominent. 
right? So, so we're gonna do my foundation really quick. Basic stippling brush. I'm not trying to be too precise. I'm kind of worried about the color now, but I don't know why. I don't know. It seems like. All over. Maybe it's the lighting, or maybe it's because I haven't had on makeup in a few days, but I just look super red. But it covered the mess out of because usually this mark, these marks over here, because I broke out too, they usually peek through and it's covered up quite well. Hmm. Okay, so this is with, let me put the top on, this is with 65 Rich Tan. I'm not mad. You see how light it looks in the container? This is 65 Rich Tan and this is 70 Deep. So they look like super light and neutral in the container so don't let the container fool you okay and so now I'm going to highlight so where is it deep golden I really liked deep golden and I also the other day I mixed deep golden with um where is it deep tan so I'll show you how deep golden looks first under the eye to highlight and then if we need to add today we'll add the rest so this is once again deep golden And you think it looks like a lot, but it really isn't. It's just a wet concealer. But it's really not. It's really not a lot. Same blueberry sponge. I will say, it looks like it dries down matte and it dries down really quick. That's what it looks like. I love this sponge. I love the Real Technique sponge. It is one of my faves. I just love the how you can kind of get the angles of your face with this sponge. checking for the creasing um, I definitely will need to set it with my lower mercy area just because my eyes crease quite a bit under the eye so this is with what was this again deep golden this is what is that deep oh my gosh there's so many of them deep golden 60 deep golden 60 I'm okay with it but so you guys can see the other level up I'm gonna put in oh I'm gonna use deep tan 55 just a little bit of it under the eye just under the eye I 
Stick that under the eye. So, yeah, it's a little brighter, but this is how we're looking so far. So, I'm going to, I don't know, it looks so weird. Let me see. Okay, it's, it's I am covered. It is a full coverage day. Um, what I'm going to do is the rest of my makeup and set it with some powder, and I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back, and you just watched me put on the concealer, which I'm loving so far. It's just all about finding the right match for you. Um, I use deep golden and deep tan under the eyes and then deep golden here in the highlight and then to co cover up certain spots I use 70 which was 70 deep 70 I believe so deep 70 was really red and I was a little nervous but after putting it on with the foundation and everything and applying my favorite MAC fix plus it really helped everything like melt into the skin and now that I'm seeing it with the rest of my makeup, I really like how it came out. Um, it covered up my dark circles very well because um, they were super deep and super dark today. So um, kudos to that. I like it is a matte formula. And once it dries, it dries. So you kind of want to work fast and make sure you work it into the skin. Um, it blended out very well. It covered up my spots extremely well because usually with other concealers, I'll have to use a color corrector and then a concealer to really get that coverage that I need. And I will say these no filter concealers covered up everything without me having to, um, without me having to do a color corrector. So I'm really pleased with that. So yeah, let me know if you've tried these no filter concealers. I am pleased. I can't wait for them to expand the shade range though. I would like to see more golden colors and, um, at six dollars a piece I mean hey they are really good I'm not mad at them because I use NARS soft matte lately and my NYX favorite my HD concealer I stopped using the LA girl ones for a while and I like them but when you don't use them they'll get oily you'll have to squeeze them and all that oil and stuff comes out I hate that even when you rub them and try to warm them up it's just too much work and I like the wand I like to just take it out and use it I don't have time to have to Make sure you get all the oil and stuff out before um, you can use it. So yeah, um, yeah. Once again, let me know if you tried them. Are you thinking about using them? And I will see you on the next video. Bye.